Hello again everyone! Welcome to my channel and today we'll be learning about correlational analysis in a statistical software we call JAS. So we already have a discussion on a different video about correlational analysis and regression analysis. So basically, correlation and regression, you, it tells you uh, about the relationship between variables and correlation describes if these variables tend to increase or decrease together or go in opposite direction. And we also know that regression is a form of statistical modeling that examines how much variance is explained by the model and we have created with various variables. You can also predict um, the outcome of a specific input using a linear regression. So in correlation, we do have what we call as a uh, positively correlated. So they move in the same direction wherein the variable X increases, variable Y also increases. And we do have the negatively correlated wherein they move in opposing direction. If variable X increases, variable Y also decreases or it decreases. So to overcome this standardized covariance is used, um, we will be using Pearson correlation coefficient, or we basically call it as R. So it ranges from 1.0 to positive uh, one. The closer R is to positive one or negative one, the more closely the two variables are related. If R is close to zero, let's say 0 0.06, um, there, that means there might be really no correlate relationship at all. If R is positive, then as one variable increases, the, the other variable increases as well. Now, in our case, we'll be exploring um, an analysis of ANOVA using the JAS software in our created data set. So this will be our data set. We do have four variables, programming grade, technical score, private or public, and economic status. So you can actually encode this or type this in any spreadsheet program. Um, you can pause this video if you want to, then you can type it on your Excel or any spreadsheet. Okay, so please remember that you need to save it as a CSV um, file format um, in order for us to, to load it in our just software or JSP software okay so again it must be a CSV format okay so let's save it and we'll be opening JASP okay I hope you already installed um, the software in your computer so that it will be easier for you to navigate and manipulate data. So we'll be opening the data set we have created. This will, you can open it in your computer um, uh, and then look for the the file that you want to to load in JASP. So um, we'll be opening it. So basically, um, so this is JASP. So it will it will automatically load the different um, data, the data set here. So in, um, we'll be doing correlation. So look for the regression button in the analysis menu and click classical correlation. Okay. So this will be the options for our um, correlation, classical correlation. Okay, we'll be changing technical score, this one, into continuous scale. Okay, we'll be changing that into scale. Okay. Okay, so it is already changed. We'll be putting um, the programming grades in our variable. So the two variables that we'll be correlating with will be the programming grade and technical score. Okay, and then our correlation coefficient will be the person R and we'll be reporting its significance and flag the significant correlations. So by default, our confidence interval will be 95%. That means the significance level will be 0.05. Okay, so this will be the result, okay? But 
we'll discuss it later. Let's go back here. We'll be, um, you can explore on assumption, assumption checks and other options, but we just need to discuss in this video the important result of um, correlation in JASP. So we'll be also um, taking um, scatter plots so we can show scatter plots. Okay. Yeah. Can show the scatter plots and the statistics as well. We can show the statistics. We can show densities for variables. Okay. All right. So these are the things that you need to to include in the in this pane, the correlation option, the two variables that you want to correlate with, and then the coefficient and some additional options in the plots. Okay. So we will be discussing the result. Okay. So this is the result. We'll be understanding the result. So in the result, it shows you the two variables, the programming grade and technical score. So in programming grade, correlating it with its own, it doesn't have any value because um, uh, it would be useless. And then programming grade to technical score is omitted because it is shown to this third um, here, okay? Then technical score, programming grade, and then technical score to technical score. So what we just need here is the person R or co coefficient of correlation and then the p-value. Okay. So our person R is 0 0.965 and p-value is uh, less than 0 0.001, a significance level of 0 0.001. Although we have defined that our significance level is 0 0.05, but if it is highly significant, so it can still be lesser than 0 0.001. So when the p-value is less than the significant level, in this case it's 0 0.05, but it's more, uh, it's highly significant because it's lesser than 0 0.001. So we can therefore reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. Remember that our two variables that we want to correlate with is the programming grade and technical score. So basically our null hypothesis there is that there is no um, alternative, there is no, um, there is no significant relationship between programming grade and technical score. Now in this case, the first table here shows the correlation matrix with person R value and its P value. So this shows a highly significant correlation in the significant level of 0 point, uh, 0 0.001 with a large R value, which is very close to one. And it, it, it is R equals to 0 0.965. This shows that the relationship is very strong and it is highly significant. So therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis. So upon rejecting the null hypothesis, we will be accepting our defined alternative hypothesis. Thus, there is a significant relationship between programming grades and technical scores. Now, in our plots, okay, um, I'll just... Now, in our correlation plot, the plot just provides a simple visualization of how strong is the relationship between the two variables. And our R here is 0 0.965. As you notice, this is our, um, this is our uh, regression line, okay? And this is our densities. Okay, so this, those are the result of our correlation. And I already explained to you the, um, how to interpret the results. Okay, thank you for listening and I hope you learned something about correlation analysis in this statistical software called JASP.